Welcome to the Tournament Center. I'm Randy Bueller. I'm here with Brian David Marshall. We just watched draft number five. This is crunch time. Twelve rounds in the books, three rounds to go. The top table is absurd. Like, cut it right now. Cut to the top eight. This, Takuya Osawa and Kenji Samura, they probably only need a draw, so we're going to see them on Sunday anyway. Jim Harold, three-time Grand Prix champion. Uh, Guillaume Blanc is the only guy who's a blank on the list. You got rookie of the year Sebastian Taylor, Johan Sadejpour, sort of long-time, very well-respected drafter, Mike Ron, and there's Willie Edel, oh, yeah. looking to go second place in three pro tours in a row, perhaps. So that was the table we watched. The draft viewer is going to be set up, where you can watch every pick of this draft if you want. Now, whose draft did you watch? I watched Johan Sadejpour. A fine choice. Fine choice. Pro Tour London, top eight yep, competitor. Yep, yep. Uh, works with Anton Janssen. Goes right into white. Really? The Griffin Guide. Interesting. But there's an essence sliver in his pick. Okay. In his pack that sends, he doesn't know that the drafter to his left, Blanc, yep. has opened Spectral Force. Obviously, he doesn't know that. Okay. But takes, he takes the essence sliver. He goes into green white. Wow. You know what happened on my side of the table? So I watched uh, Mike Ron open a Griffin Guide. I was oh. watching Willie Edel's draft, and Willie Edel had a plan. The man first picked Ivory Giants, so I'm watching the potential catastrophe. That's four white drafters and counting, by the way. Which Interesting. It's not great news for those guys. So second pick. And they also want the same cards. Yeah. Second not pick. Not just the same white cards. Willie Edel fans open a pack. This, this is a man with a plan. This is a man with a plan. He's going to execute at all costs. There's Teferi. Wow. And he takes Amru Seekers. Amru Seeker over to Ferry, ships the Teferi to Mike Ron, who's just like, I guess I'm blue now. And he was just, he wanted white. He absolutely wanted to cut off white. He took Ivory Giant third, and he was just in, you know. Mike Ron will only take the Ferry third pick? Apparently, yeah. He can't pick. take it first pick. We talked about that <laughs> earlier. but So, yeah, a bunch of white drafters at the table. And, I mean, Willie Edel's deck seemed, he never really found another color. But, I mean, he's got decent white. He, you know, he got a blink. He got a bunch of... He got paid off in pack two because he caught white. Everybody to the left of him was out of white all the way until we get over to your side of the table. That, yeah, that really explains the paucity of white because it wasn't just like the white was cut off in the second pack. Yeah. It was... It, was, it dried up really quick in the first pack yeah. for Johan, and he couldn't get off of the Griffin Guide. Okay. And he, and he couldn't get into green. Yeah, Mike Ron abandoned his Griffin Guide. Oh, really? Yeah, he gave up on the white. He wound up with the blue, and he, I think he's touching a little bit of black. But, uh, yeah, it really was just had all the white on that side. And then in the second pack, he got paid off with Castle Raptor, Castle Raptor, Castle Raptor. So That's funny because Castle Raptor, Castle Raptor, Castle Raptor is Johan's deck. Nice. Uh, he has, I think, three Castle Raptors. That was the only white he was finding. Well, Willie didn't take all the Castle Raptors, to be fair. He chose a blink over one of them. Okay. But, I mean, that was the, the feed that was coming in. So Yeah, that was, there was that, the, the Castle Raptors, I think, were kept Johan in white. Like, he got <laughs> kind of a late Castle Raptor this way. Right. He got kind of a late Castle Raptor this way. But, you know, what we've talked about, blue removal color. Yeah. And it was white-blue. He had a prodigal sorcerer. He had a maw core okay. in this pack. And then erratic mutation, erratic mutation, erratic oh, mutation. Right. In the third pack, blue removal. Good. This may be what pulled Johan's deck together. That sounds fine. So that's table one. You got a bunch of different records there. Like I said, I believe Kenji and Takuya are pretty much in. They just need a draw. Oh, yeah. I think 34 is the magic number. You might need 35 to be safe, but those guys are already at 33. Then you've got uh, Harold and Blanc are in great shape on 30. Taylor on 29. Sadich Porkron and Edel on 28. So they need to go basically 2 1. You scan or down. Maybe 2 1. Table two had Quentin Martin and Osip Lebedovic hanging out there. Uh, pod number three, Paul Chion is still in contention. Roger Metan, Frank Karsten, still in this thing, Guillaume Mafatapa. And then the fourth pod, almost as good as the first one. Tomoharo Saito, Helmut Summersberger, Katsuhiro Mori, Ben Rubin, wow. still in this thing. Ben Rubin, and then uh, <laughs> Priscilla Masal, uh, well, Wallowich? Wallowich, I believe. I'm not trying Better to say known it. as... Rich Hohen's nemesis. <laughs> we did a quick question. That story you so check great. Out the, you know, I, we did a quick question for the blog. You know, who's your nemesis? And Rich Hohen was like, I don't know the guy's name, but he's on. He's on Magic Online. And I, I can just never. Can't I can beat never him. beat I this never guy beat. in a draft. Had no idea. Had never met the guy, but it's it's. Uh, well, he's ahead of Rich Hohen in the standings right now. Hohen's been got knocked out of contention last round, along with uh, Raphael Levy. Funny and, thing uh, about Ole Ruel. We he won the he, he won the trip to E3 right, last on Magic year. Online. He on Magic Online. E3. So, bunch of stories, three rounds to go. Probably half a pod, one will get in, couple from two, one from three, one from four, something like that.
we got three rounds left, and we will bring them to you here on the Tournament Center. So stay tuned. Brian and I will be back later today.